Okay. So uh, as we mentioned, you know, question answer on a telegram, which you uh, DM that uh, yes. you mentioned that after sweep and inducement, okay, will get a high or low. What if liquidity sweep, it will also get a high or low as well as, okay. You mean when market after break the structure, market sweep the previous high or low that will be considered as a higher high or just a liquidity sweep. That's right. Yep. And also some internal liquidity. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I will explain you this thing. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Actually, in terms of the structure mapping, we have to consider first thing, if market is a police or bearish, okay. If market break the previous low, right, then market confirm our uh, structure as well as, okay. Look at this one. In this case, the previous structure high create here. And this point become our valid break of structure right here. Okay. When market break the previous high and close of it, that's called valid break of structure at this point. Okay. And this point become our high low once market close of it. What happened in a next time if market like if market everything is a bullish and market sweep the previous low okay and in this case what happened here look at this one top of the structure in this case what happened here market break the previous high and continue going higher high but it at this point market not uh, like a <clears throat> break this i mean break this high but not close of it so in this scenario this is not a valid boss this scenario convert into just liquidity grab right here okay yeah so this point uh we count as a liquidity grab and what about this inducement so this inducement we can mark here but not confirm this higher high okay uh, technically this higher high will be confirm if market close of it something like this so this high will be transferred here to here something like this at this point here and this high will be transferred here to here until price close of it so this break off structure will be confirmed if market close of it if not close of it so this is a just liquidity grab here okay um can i draw on your chart yeah sure okay let's say um the chart is like that you get an inducement and break and something right mm -hmm. and for example there is a lack of liquidity over here but okay it's not inducement mm -hmm. it's suddenly come and sweep and then break a bit so would you consider this is as and high low as well uh you mean uh this one as a yeah. here is a structure uh, like internal structure here something like this no this is break of structure okay. it's already break of structure okay perfect market moving up right mm -hmm. but moving up uh there's a lack of uh, liquidity over here the lack liquidity i mean there's a uh, it's not inducement because the price is moving up straight forward. Yeah. But it just leaves some fractal move mm -hmm. and build up the liquidity over here. And then it suddenly moves up. All okay. right. Over here. Over mm -hmm. here. And mm -hmm. then when it moves up, it come back to sweep this liquidity. Okay. And Perfect. Continue going up. Yeah. So when continue going up and break the high will you consider this is as a break of structure as well or no yeah exactly this is a valid break of structure okay so which means even if this is not an inducement mm -hmm. it's just a liquidity yeah. when my sweep, sweep this liquidity and then break of structure we mm -hmm. still consider it as break of structure exactly okay thank you okay yep it's very helpful actually and then um we get question number two okay after it's sweep inducement price doesn't move to break any high or low it's like create some sort of sideways inside a single leg mm -hmm. so we mark the structure inside the leg move which is like uh when you draw uh let um so let's start from here when you start when, when it breaks structure right Okay. And then we got new high and low. 
and suddenly market come back to sweep this inducement. Okay. okay. And then when it sweep, it doesn't break the high. It just come and run inside this single leg move. Okay. okay? But it making direction like low or low or something. Will will are we able to draw the trend or mapping the trend? Like we going for like um let's say this is um you, you mean uh, after taking out the inducement, sweep the inducement market creating lower lows internal structure. So what criteria we should follow? Like uh, we are in a bullish market or we are expecting a reversal into downside move. That's it. Um, no, no. Okay. I'm just wondering like when it break up structure, we have okay. high, high and high low already. But mm -hmm. it did sweep the inducement again. Okay. And when it come back to sweep inducement, it doesn't break up. It just move around like that, making uh, internal high high and then making internal low low like that. Okay. Inside the single leg. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And will you consider or will you draw the market structure inside this area or not? No, actually, this is a not a major structure. So mainly I use a major structure to marking inducement and marking PUI. But you can play here if uh, lag are very larger in a shape and size. So in this case, we can use a in as an internal structure this one, and we can mark an inducement in a lower time frame as well as. But this lag must be a, a larger, okay. But in that case, we can use this a uh, short term buy sell in this at this point till uh, extreme PY mitigation. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So short term. When, when, yeah. Can can we go to the real chart in fifteen minutes? Uh, sure. Uh, GBP USD. Sure, of course. Yeah, thank you. So on the this time frame. Fifteen minutes. Okay, perfect. First day seven December. Oh, uh, fifteen December. Seven December. Seven December. Yep, somewhere there. Not here. Okay. Yep. And your time, what what is your time zone? I, I can switch to your time zone so I can show you directly. Uh, yeah. Okay. Five, five point three. Okay. So on the 2 a.m., I think. 2 a.m., yep. 2 a.m. Two a Thursday two a.m. Okay. Seven Thursday two a.m. Here to here. A.m. No, this is p.m. Mm, seven a.m. Thursday Thursday seven. Thursday. Thursday. That is Wednesday. Uh, I show you in the chat. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, this area. Okay, you mean this one? Yeah. Yep. Actually, I found an inducement here, mm -hmm. which is, um, I marked the bearish inducement, and then mm -hmm. it did break a structure. Okay. So when it break up structure, it build another inducement over here. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then it break a chalk. Right. Mm -hmm. So when the market breaks structure and then moving up. We got new inducement, okay, over here, and then it got uh engineering liquidity, okay, and it come come into this POI, and then we go for long, right? Go for long, yeah, yep. So one we long, we take profit over here, yeah, and then market move down again. We mark new inducement, mm -hmm. and then we get new POI, okay. And then when we enter it, we got some short of profit and then hmm. we got SL. Yeah. yeah. So that that is the point that I, I would like to ask you. Like um whenever the high, like the single leg move from here doesn't have inducement or any clear structure. Mm -hmm. So when we play counter trend, mm -hmm. 
then what kind of you know thing that we should avoid or what kind of setup we should avoid or something okay actually uh in this scenario i wanna uh, suggest you like if market are a, a continuation in a bullish market or a bearish market and yeah. uh, market create any chalk okay then you have to crash check in a little bit higher time frame like we are using 50 minute then you have to check at least uh, like one hour to crash confirmation those 15 minute chalk can be a higher time frame is an inducement okay so generally what happened market not follow any single time frame okay when market create chalk then you have to always cross check for additional confirmation that this is a valid chalk or not okay because if you mark the 15 minute chalk okay then very high chances those 15 minute chalk can be h1 time frame inducement yeah okay so sometime what happened market taken out the h1 time frame but in lower time frame can be a chalk and then market tap any other time uh, like one hour time frame py and then market went down right yep. Yep. if you mark the 15 minute chalk 15 minute inducement okay then you will see in a five minute time frame then very highly chances those 15 minute inducement can be a five minute chalk yep okay so you have to check across confirmation okay yep. Yep. for additional confirmation that you are buying like for example you, you mentioned here this is a buying zone which is absolutely fine as per the structure based on 15 minute time frame okay yep. but when you check in a little bit higher time frame in a one hour time frame then you will see this chalk is a actual inducement and after taking out the inducement market must be tapped or downside so this is point become a smart money trap smt yep okay that's why market pushed downside and taken out the inducement and market went up went down this one this move something like this and market went down because this can be a h1 time frame inducement yep chalk inducement mitigation and market went down simple yep exactly okay. yep. yeah thank you it's very helpful Okay. And by the way, I keep asking uh, from here. Mm -hmm. So can you switch to one hour? Sure. Um, the same place, the same area. Yep. So um, when market move into break this area, but the candle doesn't close, it just mitigate like that. We okay. don't consider it as break of structure, right? Uh, actually, look at this one, sir. This area, this one. Inducement taken out? Yes. This is a lower low. After taking out the inducement, generally we are looking for the sell. Okay. Because market momentum is a bearish and everything is a bearish and looks, we are anticipating that market must be taken out the inducement and then market mitigates something and then we can play in a downside move. Yep. Okay. So after taking out the inducement, okay. And then what happened here at this point, very highly chances that market create something like previous session, high or low. Let me uh, mark the Yeah, perfect. This session is a previous session, high or low actually previous session higher low and previous day higher low act like a liquidity right the previous yeah. session high is a broken which is an indication that market grab the liquidity because in a left side you will see there is nothing any unmitigated order block or order flow or any kind of imbalance right here okay it means everything is mitigated here you can see you will see at this point everything is mitigated here there is nothing unmitigated everything is mitigated here so we have no chance to sell any specific point you can sell mm -hmm. based on a, a like a session based or previous day high or low we can use as a liquidity okay when market break the previous session high or low and break the first low and we can act like a chalk and then you will enter simple okay 
So in this case, you can see the previous session highs uh, grab the liquidity. First floor is broken. That's called chop. This is a one hour time frame technically, but when you will see in a 15 minute time frame, then you will see very clearly. Okay. Yeah. When we use based on session timing, then most of the time time we use 15 minute as a higher time frame. Yeah. Okay. But at this point, when you switch in a 15 minute time frame, then you will see very clearly the search chalk and inducement and sell. Okay. Because after this chalk, you will see only one unmitted order block is here. There is nothing mm -hmm. unmitted order block. Only one order block is here. Tap and sell. Yeah. But the question is um, yeah. where this one break. Okay. Will you consider a spread of structure or it just. No, this is a just liquidity grab. This is not a valid break of a structure. Market not close below it. That's why. If okay. market break the previous high or low, sweep the high or low, then market gives a reversal to the upside and downside for the short term maybe. And sometime you will see a very big reversal to the upside. It's okay. depend. Okay. Yeah. But when market sweep the previous high or low, then very highly chances market must be take a pullback to the upside, at least taken out the inducement. Mm. Yeah. And by the way, um, uh, uh, can you switch back to 15 minutes? Sure. So, um, from what you explained just now, so I found um, my mistake is when I catch, I use the, I use this as in shoot inducement and mm -hmm. then break structure, and then when the market go opposite my direction which is i only because i stick in lower time frame right mm -hmm. Maybe. okay um the last question is how do you define liquidity okay or how do you define which one is liquidity target and which one is liquidity grab i mean some liquidity is just for price to push it higher, right? Another okay. liquidity just sweep and then go to the target liquidity that yeah. they already set up. So mm -hmm. how how do you define that? And will the 4.0 trading hub session yeah. uh, cost, uh, include that one? Uh, actually, in a 4 point of session, so I will announce uh, very soon that uh, what kind of topic we are going to cover. But uh, okay. in a 4.0, as I mentioned in a starting that uh, this will be a very different. Okay. And also will be very easy to understand because my main aim to at this time to make a very uh, like easy to understand for everyone and also affordable for everyone. Okay. okay. So uh, I will try to make a like a main commonly used a topic okay i will cover yeah. in a 4.2 which is very really helpful for everyone for your trading 2. yeah okay yeah not 4.0 4.2 4. 4.2 <laughs> oh 4.2 okay okay <laughs> sorry 4. Is, oh. not good in english okay <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. Start yeah. Actually, yeah, you are asking in a fourth question, then really similar like uh, what is main difference between inducement and liquidity exactly? Sometime you will see liquidity we can mark as a candle closer and sometimes just make a shadow. Yeah. Okay. So when market momentum is abolished and bearish and create a structure and uh, liquidity grab in a two scenario first one is a when market sweep the previous higher low and some in a next scenario is here if market close the previous above i mean previous higher low uh, i will show you exactly if market momentum is abolish or bearish okay look at this one this is a bearish structure here okay this law is a broken that's called simply a break of structure here because market momentum is completely bearish. Everything is a bearish here. And this point become our break of structure is here. Okay. This point become a lower lows. This is also lower lows. And this point become our lower high. Right. Yep. 
this point is our inducement simply inducement or career value because after taken out the i mean after break of structure first pullback is taken out that's called inducement simple okay yeah. and liquidity is a little bit different from inducement when market sweep this one okay major low is a sweep here okay not close below it just taken a, a shadow and market went up and create here a single candle order block here do you know single candle order block yep i know let's go yeah so market create here and we can go for long here okay that's a first type of liquidity which can be used second type of when market sweep the previous high sometime market went up and sweep the main high this one similar like this and then create a single candle order block or sweep and create chalk flip and then we can sell here simply okay this is a external liquidity because when market sweep the previous major high or low that's called external liquidity okay yep. and another type of liquidity is our session waste session waste is liquidity can be your uh, like sweep and can be a candle closer okay in this scenario when market break the previous session high or low it doesn't matter that close or sweep in both scenario are valid and break the first low that's called chalk and then we can enter for the sell or buy okay yeah okay and similar thing applicable on inducement if inducement is a sweep then we can also use if inducement close above it press close above it up the inducement then we can also take entry close above it yeah can can you explain the internal again uh, uh, I was a little bit confused with it. Here? Yeah. I was talking about here. Yeah, this is inducement. Yeah. yeah. And then it will, when it sweep, it will, when it sweep and doesn't make low, you mean it will become the liquidity or something? Yeah. Okay. So, like, for example, if this one just a sweep liquidity, okay. then area is a liquidity area. Is it true? Yeah. Yeah, main higher low like that. Uh, like main higher low, okay. Yep. Act like a liquidity. Yep. Um. So the circle area that I drawing like right now is liquidity, external mm. liquidity, right? External liquidity, exactly. Yep. How because about these the... are main higher low. Yeah. How about the internal? Internal is the first uh, between the main higher low. That's called internal. Oh, can can you give me some example, please? Exactly. Thank you. Here we can see this is our. Like inducement taken out, our con higher high is a confirm here. Okay. Yep. And the previous structure was created here, previous higher high and higher low. Yep. And this point become our break of structure here. Okay. So if market, what happened? If market came back to the upside and just sweep the previous high. Yep. That what is, is this? This is I external liquidity. Okay, and what about internal? Internal means first low is a broken. That's called inducement. Okay? Yeah, this is a in internal because the main high and main low is here. Okay. Yeah. So if market create a liquidity between the main high and low, that that's called internal liquidity, which can be your your inducement, which can be your uh, internal liquidity as well as. Okay. okay so so when you said in one single leg we only have one inducement and one engineer liquidity That's that right. is include all the liquidity inside this area yeah is it true okay so which is which mean um can you switch to the day that we just talked about just now on the 12th of tuesday no, Tuesday. Yep, 12. Yep, the one that speak the, the, the higher saddle. Yep, 
that Dustin. one. Yep. Actually, this is the um what what to say um in fifteen minutes there is a high low, but that is not a clear structure after this movement. Mm -hmm. Because it didn't break, like you say, it's just a sweep or something. And then when the price is in the big range like that, yeah, yeah, how how you define the liquidity? Like, yeah, how you define it? There's an external liquidity is a grab here actually. Yep, major liquidity. Yeah, but this because does... the previous high and low was here, which is a broken. Okay, technically this was previous high and this is a low. Okay, low also grab here and high also grab here, which is uh, mentioned here. Uh, I think here no, in a diagram. I think deleted. Okay, no problem. So when first in this scenario, first low is a liquidity grab here and then high also grab here. So in this both scenario, market taken out the external liquidity, not internal. Yep. Okay. So in this scenario, market taken out the external uh, first low side, I mean, uh, this one. So grab the liquidity and then market went up to take out the high. First taken yep. out the low and then market taken out the high. Both scenario market grab the internal liquidity. Sorry, external liquidity. Yep. So in the conclusion is one single leg. Mm -hmm. There are four liquidity state. Yeah. Okay, let's make it simple. When one single leg, there are four liquidity, which is one is high and one one is low. Yeah. Another one is inducement, the nearest inducement. Another one is engineering. Engineering equity. Okay. okay. Can can you switch to uh four hour? Sure. Thank you. Can you zoom it smaller to the nearest price? Yep. Okay, that's okay. So when you when we see this swing, actually this is touch engineering equity. And then this is the high, and then this is the low. Yeah. Uh, yep. And then when price moving down like that, and then it reverse, mm -hmm. reverse to the upside. Will you take this one as the inducement or liquidity or engineering or anything? Like, I know it's counter trend, but will you mark the the area of liquidity in this area to? Just you know, uh, to, no, yeah. sir. No, sir. No. Actually, uh, this is our you, you have to check the structure. Like, if market is a bullish, then you have to check the left side of liquidity. Which side market grab the low? Like, uh, here I'm going to show you. Like, take the structure, okay? And you have to check this side. Like, first one is a inducement, and next one is a extreme, is our. Uh, like uh, insurance liquidity okay then we are looking here for the buy till this high is a broken okay after uh, taking out this high then market taking out the liquidity okay yeah. but you will see uh, some another kind of liquidity is here like smt like people are looking here for sale on this order block here on this order block here yeah. these are smt smart money trap you can say oh, okay yeah, because they are willing to sell here. They find this is an order block and sell, sell, but they don't see this is a actual structure is a bullish and market taken out the uh, extreme is a liquidity and market type on NVT or PY and market looking for to the upside and market must be go higher, not sell. Yep. Hmm. Okay. Uh, it's very clear with your explanation and make me like, you know, understand a lot. But whenever I facing the problem, like trading inside this area and then go long from this area. Mm -hmm. And then I was always like, you know, because when the price doesn't move to this, to break the high yet, 
it just moves in halfway. We mm. always worry about any liquidity will get swept and then... No, sir. You don't need to worry down. in this case. No, sir. Yeah. So what should we do for our, you know, to mm. know like we can hold it for to, to break the high or anything? Mm -hmm. no so, need to so worry what, sir uh, if you yeah. face any kind of these thing any problem you you can share your chart with me later anytime okay send the chart to you yeah oh uh, okay so um the last question is yeah um from this area that i draw in the blue color mm -hmm. yeah, you can see it is uh, making volip pullback, right? And then it did break high. Mm -hmm. So when after it break the high, or oh, break mm -hmm. the high, sorry, so I have to draw again. So when it make a low, and then mm -hmm. the low have to create, ha, did create the volip pullback. Yeah. Over here, and then mm -hmm. it break high. Then we 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 got the inducement, right? Yeah. Yep, and then after that, it making new high. Then we already mark this area as high and low, right? Is mm -hmm. it true or false if we mark very small track, like single candle like that? Uh, Is actually, well, uh, here are two possible scenario. First one, if you can see the bullish candle, market uh, uh, break the previous candle high or low, like here. You will see the high and low both side high or low is a broken okay so mm -hmm. we are not sure that which side market broken the first okay like a first high if market broke the first high then this is a not a valid this become a invalid okay if you can see and at, at this point that like if market is a bear is something like this and market break the first high and then market Continue pushing downside and again continue go higher. So market not taken out inducement, but if market like it take a pullback, okay, and go higher, yeah. sorry, uh, something like this. So this become a little bit, uh, uh, you can say, uh, in arranging something like this. So we don't use this type of pullback as a valid, okay. Yeah, like this high. First market broke the high or low, something like this. So market take not basically like previous candle high or low, both side. Yep. Yeah. Okay, clear. So this is not much uh, better to marking a valid pullback. Yep. So it better have to be like clear or yeah. something. Okay. Now, when market a uh, create a clear structure, clear liquidation, then you have to take entry. Otherwise, when you will feel little bit conf like confusion kind of thing, then you have to avoid simply. Yep. So um, can we close the recording right now, or we have to continue until you finish? Yeah, sure. I will send you recording later. Yep. Thank you. I'm um, just like for your information. I'm not a shooter or anything at all. I'm just yeah. a, you know, single trader, like day trader. Mm -hmm. okay. So um, just now you mentioned about